Hi, I'm Nigel and I'm going to show you how to use face props in your event. So what we're looking at here is a standard event. Um, I'm actually in the screen editor at the moment. And basically uh, a standard event is made up of a start screen, which is what we're looking at at the moment. A choose recording screen where we can choose to record videos or take photos. Um, we have a get ready screen, which lasts for two seconds when we're playing. A countdown screen, three seconds. Then you can either record videos or you take photos, depending on what you've chosen on the choose recording screen. And then we show the photos or the videos and we thank the user. It then returns back to the start screen for the next user. So face props um, can be placed on pretty much any of these screens, to be honest. Um, if you place them on the start screen, then you can populate the live view of the webcam and then they will stay on the on the screen until the thank you screen has appeared and you go back to the start screen again. So in other words, they'll appear on the photos and they'll appear in the videos that are recorded for that session. Um, you can put them on the get ready screen. Now that's quite interesting because each time round the, the loop, uh, the user can choose different uh, props. So if they're taking lots of photos, then each time they take a new photo, they can choose to put more props on or less props. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Um, but just to mention that also, if you're recording videos, you can have props on this screen. And while you're actually recording the video, the props can be added and removed from, the, from faces as you're talking, which is, uh, is quite useful. But as I say, I'm going to uh, use the Get Ready screen. So the thing to do is to add some props. <clears throat> well, the way to do that is to click the Add Items tick box. That shows the Add Items toolbox. And as you can see, you can add lots of different uh, objects to, uh, to screens. Things like images and countdowns and clocks and that sort of thing. But what we need is the Face Props item. So I'll click this. Now, it's added a blank face prop item, which is this. I'm going to drag it over here. It's quite large, but it's got nothing in it at the moment. So what we need to do is to populate it with props. The way to do that is to double click the item. So I'll double click this. It shows the face prop image file selector. I need to add um, some props. Now what I'm looking at here are the props from the Rightmove Media Library. So you need to make sure that you've downloaded and installed the Rightmove Media Library to see this lot. You can choose as many as you like. Um, I'm going to choose some sunglasses, uh, some horns, and maybe the scary face. Okay. They appear here in this list, and you can use the arrows to change the order of the, the list. But I'm happy with how they are, so I'll just click OK. That puts them into the panel. I can size the panel. Um, and I can also change various properties about this panel. So to do that, I'll just, just close down the Add Items toolbox and show the Properties panel. Now we're looking at the Property Grid properties. And as you can see, it's got three rows and one column. So I could change those to one row and three columns. And you can see what's happened there. It's actually put them in a horizontal layout. I can size that, position them wherever I want on the screen. I could put them down there, for instance. It's entirely up to you. Now, there are lots of properties that you can apply to ob objects on the screen. But for now, um, I'll just put it back to how it was. You can uh, experiment with those later. So I'll put this back over here. I'm happy with where it is. So those are my props. Right, one thing about the Get Ready screen is that it's designed by default to only appear for two seconds, then it will move on to the countdown screen. Now, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is to allow the user time to select properties. So the way to do that is we need to change the timeout value for this screen. So to do that, click on the screen and you'll see the screen properties. And down at the bottom here, we've got timeout and it's set to display time two seconds. So we need to change that. I'm gonna change it to never. So basically, 
the get ready screen now will appear and it will never disappear it will stay there for the user so what we want to do is to allow the user to move on to the countdown screen once they've added props to the to the webcam so to do that we need to add a button we'll add the next button which is here and it's actually placed it over there to begin with but we'll move the next button and its associated label down here and if you look carefully we can see that the button has got the action next and the label has got the action next now that means that if the user clicks on that button or that label or touches the button and the label if it's a touchscreen driven system that you've got then it the user will move on to the countdown screen so the point being is that by setting this up so that the user has to click a button, it allows them plenty of time to select props. Okay, that's all you have to do. Let's exit. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to play it and see the result. Okay, let's play the event. Okay, so we start out at the start screen. The user but in my case, clicks the mouse, but again, touch the screen to continue. I'm going to choose to take three photos. Now, I'm showing the Get Ready screen. The Get Ready screen is going to stay there permanently. This lets me pick props. So I, for my first photo, oh, by the way, this activity is designed to show and take three photos. So this is the first photo. I'm going to wear some sunglasses. Okay, that's fine. Click Next. We get the countdown. That's the first photo. We now go around the loop back to the get ready screen. We're on to the second photo. Note I'm still wearing glasses, so I'm going to take those off by clicking them again. This time I'm going to put the scary face on. Okay, let's go next. That's the second photo. We're back around to the get ready screen for the third photo. Now an interesting point is you can actually add more than one prop. So this time I'm going to put the sunglasses on and the horns. Okay, next. And that's the three photos. We now get the thank you screen and then it shall return us to the start screen. Now notice back at the start screen, the props have been removed. So in other words, the next time that a user comes up to the event to, to use it, it will be clear of props, which is quite useful. Um, okay, I think that's it. So I hope that's been helpful. Cheers.